Welcome to the second in a series of educational videos brought to you by Bry Air, the choice for desiccant dehumidification. This series deals with understanding the properties of air and how to use this knowledge to solve moisture and temperature problems in industrial type applications. In the first, we defined the terms used on the psychrometric chart. Here we'll show you where each property lies on the chart and demonstrate using the intersection of two properties to find the others. Please note that the sample charts are for illustration purposes only and the examples are based on the standard barometric pressure at sea level. Dry bulb temperature runs along the x-axis and is indicated by the evenly spaced vertical red lines. Humidity ratio runs along the y-axis and is indicated by the evenly spaced horizontal red lines. Wet bulb temperature is indicated by the red lines that begin the top of each dry bulb saturation temperature line and run down toward the right at an angle of approximately 45 degrees but the distance between the lines increases as the dry bulb temperature increases. Air that is fully saturated with moisture has reached its dew point. This saturation or dew point temperature is indicated by the intersection of the dry bulb temperature and the far left curved line. Fog is the real world representation of saturated air. Relative humidity is denoted by the red curvilinear lines. To make it easier to differentiate the various lines, we've been using a somewhat simplified chart. Water vapor pressure, however, measured in inches of mercury, can only be seen in the more complex version. It's the vertical measurement at the far right, parallel to the humidity ratio. Enthalpy, the measure of specific total heat, measured in BTUs per pound of dry air, is indicated by the bracketed numbers on the left. Specific volume is shown by the red oblique lines equidistant from each other. This is in contrast to the wet bulb temperature lines. With wet bulb temperature, the angle is wider and the distance between the lines increases proportionately from lower left to upper right. Specific volume increases as the temperature and or moisture increases. Here are some examples of using the intersection of any two points to find a third value. We'll begin with the intersection of 72 degrees dry bulb and 40% relative humidity. If we read to the right, we can see that the humidity ratio is 46.8 grains per pound. If we read to the left, we can see that the dew point is 46.4 degrees. The enthalpy is 24.58 BTUs per pound. The dew point is a little over 13.5 specific volume, and the vapor pressure is 0.316 inches of mercury. This concludes the second video in our series on psychrometrics, the properties of air. In our next video, we will apply this information to real world situations. If you would like to learn more about the subject or Bry Air, visit our website at bryair.com or call us toll free at 877 4 Bry Air.